Amen. 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 And it's time. Let us all rest upon our feet. Step upon our feet. And the speaker of the hour will come, Elder Dakota Redden, all the way from Columbia, South Carolina. Yes, right. On the east side. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah, God. Amen. Got him by Lord Richland. Amen. In that community. Amen. Going right up there for Jackson. Hallelujah. Bless your holy name, God. While I have you standing, we'll go ahead and go into a word of prayer. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for another day, God. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for this second Sunday, God. We thank you, Heavenly Father, Lord, for that awesome praise and worship, God, that was dedicated to you, Lord. Father God, we thank you for the appetizer coming from Brother Patterson in the mighty name yes, of Jesus, yes. God. Something that we need, we all need, God, is wisdom in the mighty name of Jesus, God. You got a whole chapter dedicated to it in Proverbs verse 8 and, and chapter 8, Heavenly Father, about wisdom in the mighty name of Jesus, God. Father God, I pray, Lord, that you bless this service, God. Use me in a mighty way, Heavenly Father, Lord. I pray, Lord, that every ear, Heavenly Father, Lord, is hanging on every word, God, that's in this place, God. Father God, we give you glory, we give you honor, God, because we love you in the mighty name of Jesus, God. We love you, Father God, because you first loved us, Lord. Lord, that's the word. In the mighty name of Jesus, God. Have your way and your will be done. In Jesus' holy name, amen. 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 You may be seated at this time. Amen. Hallelujah, God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I was reading a little while ago, and, and uh, I'm not coming there today, but I was reading somebody in, in uh, Psalm 56, amen, about King David, how he was in the wilderness and how he was crying. Hallelujah. And the word said to have it, how God collected his tears in a bottle. Hallelujah, God. All right, all right. Amen, amen. We had such encouraging words on today, amen. That was a beautiful song, amen, by a praise and worship leader. Hallelujah, how God is turning it around. Amen, amen, amen. And you got to believe that in your heart no matter what the situation it, may look it, like. It, no matter what obstacle is in front of you, God is going to turn it around. It'll say, sooner or later. He's going to turn it in my favor. Yeah, Hallelujah, yeah, God. Yeah. It says that I can see the breaking of day. If you can see the breaking of day, that means you're still alive. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. He woke you up to see another day. He, you wasn't destroyed in what happened. I can see the breaking of day, and God's going to make a way. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah, God. It says, I have no doubt that he's working it out. That's right. right. And you've That's got right. to put your faith and trust in God. That's no it. matter what the situation may be. Hallelujah, God. Put your faith and trust in God. Put it and in watch God. God turn it around. It's going to work in your favor, saints of God. Amen. God created you. In Psalms 118 and 6, that very first line says, The Lord is on my side. Amen. Who else do you want to be on your side, saints of God? Who else better to be on your side than the Lord? That's right. He made you. Therefore, he's on your side no matter what you're going through. He says he's with you through the high water. He's with you through the fire. Hallelujah, God. He's with you. Yes, he is. And I ask you today, I have a question. The question is, how much do you love the Lord? Amen. Hallelujah. How much do you love the Lord? Because see, it talks about that in the book of Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Because there was a question asked, what was the greatest commandment? It talks about that in Matthew and in Luke. I mean, in, in, in Mark. Matthew and Mark. But see, in Luke 10, it's the same thing, but it's just that the lawyer asked Jesus about how can I receive eternal life? All right. In Luke 10, starting at chapter 25, the word says, And behold, a certain lawyer stood up and tempted him, saying, Master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? Before I get back to that, once again, I want to thank God that we have our mighty shepherd back in the house today, our pastor. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And thank God for her here on today. She's been going for a, uh, for a couple of weeks. I know it's been bothering her. She hasn't been able to come to the house of the Lord like she wanted to. Amen. Hallelujah, God. But we've been keeping her on much prayer. And she's back up in here. Hallelujah, God. Look like the devil has struck out again. Yes. He done struck out again. Can't keep you saying that death could not hold our Lord down. Hallelujah. All right. A knee replacement can't hold our pastor down. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, God. Even though she may be in a little pain, but she's still here. Hallelujah, God. And we continue to pray for her because anytime you have a knife to slice through your body, you're going to be in some pain. All right. Say it. Say it. See, I had a gallbladder taken out in 2000. That hurts. 
Hallelujah, God. All these operations on backs and, and heart operations and whatever the case may be, that hurts. And, and Sister Goodman, they have to go on the shoulder. That stuff hurts after a while. But nevertheless, as day by day goes on, you get better and better. Amen. And getting strong and stronger. Hallelujah, God. I was told her, I said, in no time, Pastor, be running around in no time. Hallelujah, right. God. Amen. Amen. She'll be running around in no time. That pain will be gone. Amen. She's just going through those stages right now. Hallelujah. Go and get ready to go through all that rehab and all that, and she'll be just fine. Hallelujah, God. Thank God for her once again back in the house of the Lord one more time. Amen. Hallelujah, God. Because I know it's something to be stuck in the house for a while and can't go nowhere. Can't do nothing. Amen. You got to depend on people. Hallelujah, God. But we continue to pray for our pastor, amen, for her well-being and for her health, that she can come back in here and continue to preach the word down, amen, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Amen. And thank God, and once again, as we were saying, to keep our bishop in prayer as well, keep both of our leaders, amen, because they go through so much, amen, with different things. Hallelujah, God, to keep them in prayer. Amen. As the word says, the lawyer asked about how do he receive eternal life. And Jesus asked him a question. He says, well, what is written in the law? How do you read it? And in verse 27, it said, he answered and said that, thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy strength and with all thy mind and thy neighbor as thyself. Do we love the Lord with all our heart, saints? Amen. With all our mind and all our strength and with all our soul in the mighty name of Jesus? He said, that's how you enter eternal life. But see, in the book of Matthew and Mark, they wanted to know what were the greatest commandments. They asked Jesus that, and he gave the answer. It was written in red about loving the God with all your heart and soul and might. This comes all the way back to the sixth chapter of Deuteronomy. In verse 4, when, the, when Moses was telling the people to love the God with all your heart and soul and might, he says that to teach your children that, put it all over the house, wear it around your neck. Because that should be the first thing. If you need something to work in your favor, you've got to put God first. And the only way to do that is to love Him with all your heart. Amen. Are you in love with Jesus? Have you fallen in love with Jesus? He's in love with you. You are His handiwork. His greatest creation. God will tell you that. He loves you so much. More than you'll ever love yourself. And He doesn't want to see no harm or danger come to you. Hallelujah, God. But we have to put God first in everything in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah.